Sneaker Linux back in the house. Yes, today, yes, we have Debian 7, the stable. Yeah, well, it's not all stable, is it now? It is now turned into stable version. Okay, so we'll have a new unstable version now, won't we? Super duper. Right, when I've been reading about this over the months, it's been coming up to this uh, particular time when it's going to be released. There was talk of going to XFC, doing this, doing that. So what I did, I got the net installed, which is around about 200 megs. And done it that way. Yes, it's the long way around of doing it, but yeah, I ended up with GNOME free. Okay, so GNOME free is the default. Okay, like I said I don't mind it too much, except the short short uh, cuts are really a bit different to what I'm used to when using other distros. So anyway, we'll give you a good start. As you can see, it's nice and clean, and unusually for GNOME free, very very fast while recording. Yes. So anyway, with much ado about nothing, as I say, let's have a little butchers. But under our main thing over here, we have Sneaky, because that's me. Now, I've not actually signed up for any of these stuff, uh, uh, Empathy and all that. So there's no uh, things from Twitter available, or from Facebook, or anything like that. I don't do Facebook, anyway. But there's no notifications available. <clears throat> None from my instant messaging, or anything like that. So, yeah. So, next, you've got System Settings, Lock Screen, Log Out, Hibernate, and Power Off. So, we're going to System Settings. We'll have a quick look at that for you while we're here. As you can see, it's quite basic and easy peasy, really. There's some display, colour, Bluetooth, do your background. Shall we check the background? Why not? Hang on. What's doing that? I'll have a little bit of a drinkage. Hang on. Mm. Very orangey. Mm. So the default is here. What's that one there? Let's have a little look. You know what? I'm going to add that one because that sounds good to me. Well, looks good even. And you've got the old ones here as well. And obviously, you can get some new stuff if you want. So that's a little bit better. It makes it a little bit more interesting just from the swirl. Okay. So next is my internet connection. Then I've got my sound and volume. And here's my sound settings. So I can go there. You can see what I mean. And there we go. So your sound settings for output, input, hardware, sound effects, amplification, and stuff like that. Super duper. I like it. Next is our access. So if you have trouble reading or hearing, there's a screen reader here. There's a screen keyboard. There's visual alerts, sticky keys, slow keys, bouncy keys, and mouse keys. And there's a universal access. I see access settings even. Yeah. So we'll give a look at that. So as you can see, it's gone to quite a larger font there. So if you are hard of reading or hard of hearing and stuff like that, it's all here for you in Debian. And always has been really, except this time it's a lot better implemented to be really honest with you. So if you go to pointing and clicking, see it tells you all the stuff here. Secondary some like click and hover click. Hover click? Would you be sitting in a different chair for that? Okay, yeah, so there's plenty of universal access for the old Debian here. So let's do it. Up here, so we've got time and date. So you go, got calendar. I haven't opened my calendar because I've not set it all up yet. Yeah, I just haven't got around to it. I'm going to be keeping Debian on this machine for a little while just to see how it goes. I mean, let's be honest, it ain't going to go bang, really, is it? No, no, it's Debian stable. It's going to be stable to stable. I was just surprised when it turned up with name free, to be honest with you. Yeah, anyway, so what do we do next? Well, got activities up there. So if we just push our little mousey thing into the corner get a little sub menu come up here so we've got ice visual evolution mail empathy rhythm box and shot well for your photos we also got LibreOffice writer it, you can put up with stuff here by the way and files so my file systems there and help so we'll open up LibreOffice writer and see what happens which should be quite a bit when I add a bit more drinkies to go that was really fast, actually. I'm quite, yeah, I am quite impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be this snappy, to be really honest with you. So you're saying to me, where's everything else? Well, being number three, we can go to applications. There is keyboard shortcuts, right? I'm just not used to them just yet. Okay. So you got add and remove software, advanced settings, solitaire, my archive manager, Brazero, contacts, cheese, capture map, desktop search, my search desktop, empathies there. All your programs that are actually installed are here. If we go down a bit further, as you can see, it's a full LibreOffice suite. Full. We also get Inkscape. There's a couple of games here. Mahjong. The usual ones you get the name stuff, okay? Movie Player. Orca is here also. Pass statistics. Reporter Bug. Remote Desktop. So if I open up Remote Desktop, you'll see what I mean. Help. Enable shortcuts. You can just set it up all this. So you have to go to Connect. So if you click on Connect, you put in your host name there for SSH and into it. You go whoosh. And then you go, you know what to do. If not, there's other people that's actually done videos on this animation. 
I might have to do one, I suppose. You know what you lot like sometimes. Oh, yeah. Anyway, back to applications. We go down to where battery was. As I said before, the rhythm box is already here. The root terminal, of course. Can't do anything root terminal. Oh, take a screenshot. So we could take a screenshot like that, couldn't we? Grab a screen thing. Well, I'm not going to do first. I'm going to open up something first. So if I go to Ice Weasel, Ice Ice Baby, mm -mm -mm -mm, wait for him to open up, and then we'll take a little screenshotty wherever it's gone. Okay. So we want to go there. I forgot what my things is. I'll maximize. So we'll go there. Hide it down there. Thank you very much. And there's probably a keyboard shortcut for this. So I'll do that next time. So take a screenshot. Do -do. Done. Saving my pictures. Save. Thank you very much. Duh. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, that's all. We'll open up my activities again. In queue, go to applications. See what I mean? It's quite snappy, isn't it? No 3 has come on, shall we say. Oh, don't forget me thing to work. That's better. Go down the bottom here. Transmission tomboys here. Time tracker. Time tracking on. Tretrovix. More terminal. System monitor. Let's check him out and see what's happening in our system monitor, baby. Hello. Well, as you can see, it isn't actually doing too bad, really, considering I've not even installed any proprietary drivers. Okay, so I'm quite impressed. Memory-wise, it's hovering around 200, so yeah, that's all right for me. I can use that, yes, no problem for me. Lovely job. Soon do that. Oh, well, quickly go back over here. Really decide wants to do it, that is. I'll go back to applications one more time. Scroll down if it wants to. Go down the bottom. Software updater, software settings, blah, 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 blah. Remember, there is a software center here. So if we go to add and remove software, but you also get synaptic as well, okay? Yes, you will get synaptic. It's just started to slow down a bit while I record them. Then again, this machine is quite old. So if I put in some look, happy word. And we'll see what happens in the happy wordery. And get on down, it's querying. There we are, it's all there. So if you want every word, you can have it. You can basically have whatever you like, Caden Live, Open Shot, whatever you want. There's so much here for you to choose. It is unbelievable, baby. Oh yeah. So, Debian 7, stable, not the horse. Super of the duper, quite impressed with Gnome actually. I am, um, yeah. When it first came out, it was just a memory hog and everything, but now it seems to be working rather nice. Happy dokey dokey. Remember, you don't have to have Gnome. You can have KDE, you can have FCE, you can have LXDE, you can have E17 Enlightenment, whatever you wish. But the standard one is going to be known unless you specify the CD or the download you're going to do. Okay, nice. I really like it actually, I'm beginning to like it, yeah. I'm getting used to these sort of desktops now, the old boy that I am. Nice. 89% sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later, bye bye.